What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving an update on the Eminem and MGK, everything that is happening with them in the world of hip hop. So like I mentioned in the last video, I wasn't 100% sure if Eminem was going to release a diss track to MGK in response to Rap Devil, but it has happened and honestly, it is amazing. Eminem is basically making fun of Rap Devil right in the beginning, right whenever Killshot first starts, before he really gets into the song. He's making fun of it. It's just, it's well put together and it is funny and it actually makes a lot more sense than Rap Devil. If you compare the lyrics, Rap Devil didn't have too many good lines. It made sense in the rap and the beat and everything else was good for it. And it is one of MGK's best work. But honestly, in my opinion, Eminem's kill shot is a little bit better. It just makes more sense. It has a lot more meaningful disses and it's not just petty stuff in it. Because if you think about it, a lot of stuff that MGK put in Rap Devil, it's pretty petty stuff and it just, it, it wasn't, it wasn't worth it. MGK's producer, Ronnie J, who produced Rap Devil, which is a diss to Eminem, also co-produced two songs off of Eminem's Kamikaze. One, which I cannot remember the name of it, but the other one is Not Alike, which is the song Eminem disses MGK in. Why would MGK's producer co-produce a song for Eminem dissing MGK in it, and then turn around and produce a song for MGK dissing Eminem. To me, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't line up at all. And it is a little bit fishy. Honestly, we are never going to know the truth. We're never going to really know whether or not this is just a hoax and they don't have actually any beef and they're just trying to keep old school rap relevant and kind of cancel out mumble rap. We're never going to know that, but that is my theory right now, just because I don't know why MGK's producer would have also produced the song, or co-produced the song for Eminem, dissing MGK in it. Everything just isn't making sense to me at this point. I just found this out a couple hours ago, and I just wanted to share this in this update for you guys, just to kind of open your eyes to see it could possibly be a hoax. To me, even if it was a hoax, and they don't really have any beef, and they just kind of set this whole thing up, to me, that is really good because that means old school traditional rap is still relevant because people are talking about this. So if they are doing it for that reason to keep old school rap relevant, even if it is a hoax, they did a hell of a good job doing it. Another thing that I find a little bit fishy is the fact that MGK is wearing the shirt for Eminem's Kill Shot with the cover art on it. Two concerts out in public. To me, why would you wear the diss track cover art of the person that dissed you, why would you wear somebody else's diss track that dissed you in it? It makes no sense there either. And also, recently, MGK got in a lot of heat with fans at a concert. MGK was apparently opening up for Fall Out Boy, and he asked the audience to take a middle finger selfie. So he held his camera up, all the fans behind him were raising up the middle finger, the whole audience was raising up the middle finger, and then MGK took off his hoodie and it was Eminem's kill shot on the shirt and he took the picture and he kind of played it off as if all the fans were actually flipping off kill shot and not because MGK asked them to for a selfie. Then it gets even better in my opinion because MGK started to perform Rap Devil and instead of opening up with Oh My God Ronnie which is what the song starts with, he started to say F you Marshall Mathers or something like that and he literally got booed off stage. He did finish out that one song, Rap Devil, he only played that one song, and then he got booed off stage, which to me is freaking hilarious. I'm not sure which town this was in, but apparently they are diehard Eminem fans. Performing Rap Devil, that's one thing, but starting off saying F.U. Marshall, that's gonna get some backlash, in my opinion, anywhere you go. And he also got in some heat from the stage managers because they apparently told him not to take off his hoodie, revealing kill shots. They told him don't do that with this crowd because this crowd can get pretty ruthless when it comes to Eminem and different things like this. And he did it anyways and ended up getting booed off stage. So everything about it to me is hilarious. I think it's the fact that he got booed off stage is pretty funny, but this whole thing about Ronnie J co-producing both diss tracks or helping co-produce one, to me, I think it was a setup, but the best kind ever. Comment down below whether or not you think this was a setup, if you think this was all planned out, this fake beef, or if you think it is in fact real. I'd like to know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.